Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Trevor Thompson. I own TNT Pressure Cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. So I have a lot of guys on YouTube asking me questions, uh, what type of equipment that I use, and I'm gonna make a short video for you guys to get an idea of what you're going to need, um, not only to get started, but to be working in the field in a uh, professional way. So um, one of the things I highly recommend you doing is getting some magnets for your vehicle. As you can see here, we've got magnets on both sides of the vehicle. Another thing I want to show you is on your trailer, whether you have an enclosed trailer or whether you have a, an open trailer, have some signage. Your name is not important. What's important is what you do. So what do you do? Pressure cleaning. And then how can we get a hold of you? There's the number. Very, very important. Uh, your own personal name is not important as what do you do and how do I get a hold of you? So. Uh, so make sure that your, your trailer is wrapped um, and that way you look professional pulling up on a job site. Um, I'm fortunate enough on my trailer, which is a six by eight, I have what's called a barn door so I can get in and out of that barn door. On the other side of the vehicle, you can see that there's a magnet as well. So um, I'm gonna open up the trailer in just a minute and, uh, and what I want you to, uh, to see are some of the things that you're going to need. Um, now, you're gonna have to figure out whether or not your niche is washing houses, roofs, sidewalks, driveways, whether you're doing quarter mile walkways that lead to boat houses, tennis courts, pool enclosures, what is it that you do, uh, all the above. So if we step inside the vehicle, I'm gonna show you something that you should have, um, a portfolio. And inside of that portfolio, you're gonna to need to have your work orders, which will be these. Have your work orders that has three different sheets to give to the customers and keep track of yourself. Have yourself a pad. Make sure you have all of your information in regards to your license um, uh, and things that are uh, important. Um, business cards, magnets, stickers, and a list of other guys that uh, do painting and fence work and things like that. It's important to be able to uh, refer reputable people to your customers. Let's say they need an irrigation guy or they need a guy that does screens. Um, don't just hand out anyone's name. I highly recommend you handing out people's names who you know and can trust their work because if they mess up, it's on you. So um, make sure if you are doing that, uh, if you are subcontracting work out that the people who you hire to do that job or the people you refer to do that job are quality, trustworthy, responsible, caring, and honest people. Otherwise, don't refer anybody. Uh, I highly recommend you having some uh, coffee. No, just kidding. Uh, but you should have a thermos of some sort. Uh, this is a Yeti. That way you're always hydrating and keeping water in yourself. I keep a, a backup rain suit in here uh, because we are in Florida. And, um, and one of the most important things, bring your wife home a present. That goes a long way, guys. Make sure you pick up a present for your wife or your girlfriend. Uh, she'll be thrilled. Um, also, go to things like this. This is a vendor showcase that just happened in Orlando. Uh, the Power Wash store put that on. So um, make sure that you're going to conventions, United Association of Mobile Cleaning Contractors, power washers in North America. They all have great uh, conventions. Network with business professionals. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna step foot in the trailer and I'm gonna start to show you. You can see I have a cotton t-shirt on with my name. It's got my logo on the back as well. Um, and uh, of course the hat that goes along with it. Cotton does not do well in our industry. So I highly suggest getting polyester. Uh, polyester everything, hoodies, long sleeves, um, the whole nine yards. Today I'm doing estimates. And so uh, I have a matching hat with a matching shirt. I've got some khaki pants and some nice uh, shoes, some Columbia boots that, uh, that you know look presentable. So you wanna look professional. If we step in the trailer, what you're gonna see is um, a whole host of things, okay? Um, and. One of the things that you're gonna see is uh, 
Um, I'm sorry. One of the things that you're gonna see is uh, sodium hypochlorite. It's gonna be stored in a chemical bin. Uh, that way, if any of the SH leaks out, it doesn't get all over the trailer. It's highly corrosive, it will rust metals. So make sure that you have holding tanks that are proper. Um, and I use jerry jugs that uh, pool companies will sell you um, uh, to hold liquid chlorine. Um, so, and all of them are labeled. So I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna start to show you the chemical bin, all right? This is going to be your chemical bin, all right? Which you can see here, and that runs all the way down there. And inside there, I can store these jugs of sodium hypochlorite, all right? And this, uh, the amount that I have here is about 45 gallons. So that's 45 gallons of sodium hypochlorite. That's 18 of these jugs at two and a half gallons per unit. I then have uh, uh, some front nine restoration products, EBC products, oxalic acid, degreasers, um, all kinds of things uh, under there. Uh, so it's very important to have the right types of solutions. If you look over here, um, this is a rated for a thousand pounds. Uh, this is a hand truck. So not only can I move furniture, move tables, move refrigerators, I can move heavy plants, things of that nature, um, but I use it primarily for a um, um, chemical pail siphoning system. And you can see I've put a strap on here, which will hold my hose when I'm not using it. This will hold my siphon hose. My siphon hose do not have shutoff valves. So, um, I put a, a strap on each side of that, which will allow me when I'm done uh, putting chemical down, putting solutions down, I can hang that hose up and that way that hose does not drain on the grass. These are 25 gallon drums. I've strapped them to a hand truck. So I've used a, um, a, a rubber strapping, as you can see here, a rubber strapping, and then just a standard bungee as backup, all right? And that is what I pull chemical out of when I'm doing a house wash. And you can see I have two of those. So in addition to the 45 gallons that I have over here of sodium hypochlorite, I can fill two of these up, giving me an additional 50 gallons, giving me a total of 95 gallons of SH on the truck, just under that 100 gallon mark. Now, if you look up here, we have a siphon hose that the X-Jet comes with. And on the back of this X-Jet, uh, you can see a shutoff valve. That's what this is. That's a valve that allows you to turn on and off. This is 15 feet of siphon hose. Then we move over here, we have 30 feet of siphon hose. Then we move over here and we have 50 feet of siphon hose. So depending on the job, depending how far you want to reach, with that 50 foot, I can go 50 foot this way and I can go 50 foot that way, giving me a total of 100 feet uh, of the ability to lay solution without ever having to move a bucket. Now, we do have the buckets because when you are up on a roof, you're going to need to attach some form system like a lid with a top that you can um, fasten so that you won't spill and so that you're safe and secure. So uh, up here, I have a 48 inch lance. That's a 48 inch lance. Over here, I have a 36 inch lance. In there, I've got a one foot lance and another one foot 45 lance. So I can attach those together and reach out quite far if I need to. Um, I've got multiple guns. There's a gun here by Giant made in the USA. It's got a swivel on it with a male fitting. I also have a BE. Uh, gun here and then I've got another gun there that's a fixed gun all right so you have to have multiple guns this I primarily use for mixing my acids in this is a two gallon pump up sprayer this is a four gallon backpack sprayer I don't really use this a whole lot but sometimes I get involved in in sealing um, and so I will use that to uh, lay some sealer on now you need to dispose of that after you seal because you're gonna run into clogging issues and you never want these things to drip down your back. So, um, uh, you know, there's multiple uses for that. I'm not gonna get involved in all the uses for everything, but really what I wanted you guys to see are these um, hand trucks that I have strapped tanks onto that will allow me to put a siphon hose in there and with a brass fitting 
um, and siphon my chemical out, it's a great way rather than having to relocate these buckets everywhere you go. If I'm on a small job, I'll use this zero degree, super soft, super easy uh, hose to hook up to the residential water supply going straight to my machine um, makes it real easy. A lot of guys were asking questions uh, this afternoon uh, about hoses. This is the Flexilla. Uh, the Flexilla is a great hose. I've got a couple hundred feet here. I've got 900 total feet of garden in the trailer and those are stored in that bin down there. All right, that big large bin right there, the Craftsman bin has got um, an additional 600 feet of hose in there. There's 300 feet right there. And then, uh, and then of course I've got 300 feet of high pressure. I never really run more than 200 feet of high pressure uh, unless it's a really large over 4,000 square foot house and I'm up on the roof. So uh, after, th after 300 feet of high pressure hose guys, um, on a four gallon a minute, 4,000 PSI cold water machine, you're gonna lose pressure. So unless you're running your big boys, your eight gallon a minute, and you guys are doing commercial work, you're in a different ball game altogether. Make sure you guys have uh, some, uh, a shovel is very important. It's important to have some strapping, some spare bottles, some lighting. Here we have a chemical respirator. This is your standard 3M chemical respirator. I highly suggest having one of these and using it. Different types of gloves, buckets. We've got uh, a large ladder here that will extend to 26 feet. Uh, it's a big dog, it's a gorilla. Uh, it's about a $300 ladder. And then we have another ladder here that folds up into absolutely nothing and it will extend to 16 feet. So um, I'm gonna walk you around to the front of the trailer so we don't have to jump over the hand trucks. And uh, I'm gonna show you the surface cleaner. We're using a BE Whirl Away. Um, and I've had this for a couple of years and all I've had to really do is change tips on it. This is the nipple uh, that what you will need to grease at least every 10 hours. So, uh, that, and then what we've done here is taken an old Kadima ball, which is a beach game that we have. I hollowed out that ball so it doesn't flop against the wall there. Um, I have had to put a new gun on there because the trigger was leaking and that was causing my unloader valve to wor work unnecessarily. And we want maximum pressure coming from that pump. So we did have to replace the unloader and we had to replace the leaky gun there. But you know, after three years, that's really good. So um, I don't know what you guys are using for surfactant, um, you know, and I hope everybody has pretty much moved away from uh, dish soap. Uh, and if you're using laundry detergent, uh, you know, um, I highly suggest getting some surfactants uh, from our Eliminator industry standard surfactants. Um, they're just a much better cleaning product uh, they're, they're actually less expensive. I know shipping is tough um, uh, for a lot of guys. And uh, so if you're using laundry detergent or you're using a detergent um, uh, other than that, make sure you have some type of a soap uh, dispensing unit uh, where you're not walking around with Arm & Hammer with Oxy laundry detergent um, because it just looks incredibly unprofessional or you're walking around with Gain original scent with Aroma Boost around the property, or even your old Dawn Blue Original jugs, which, you know, Dawn does clean uh, really effectively, and it is a great soap for dishes, um, and it is a great degreaser. A lot of asphalt companies use it uh, to lift up the oil. Um, there's a lot of great things about Dawn dish soap, uh, but it's not an industry standard soap, and, um, and it's really important that you get yourself dialed in with the products that we use. You'll find out why later once you, once you start using them. And um, so uh, get yourself established with a distributor. Guys that are using Clorox and household bleach, you gotta find a pool company, uh, a chemical distribution center uh, that, uh, that will allow you to buy your SH. It's a lot less expensive than going to Walmart and buying that pool essentials, which is a 10% product. By the time it sits on the shelf, you're lucky to have an 8% sodium hypochlorite product. It will work and it's a whole lot more effective than um, than uh, Clorox or whatever your bleach is at, 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 that you buy from your grocery store. But uh, get yourself some real sodium hypochlorite. Your mold and mildew will evaporate. So uh, I highly suggest uh, rigging up some of these hand trucks 
with chemical bins, it will save you so much time, energy, and effort. Um, here we have a gas can that goes along with our blower. Yeah, it's a cheap blower, but it certainly works. It does the job when, I'm, uh, when I need it. Um, we have lots of different spray bottles. Uh, this particular spray bottle has uh, a gutter butter solution in there uh, that I use to remove uh, asphaltic staining or tiger striping. This is vinegar here, white uh, regular vinegar. If your SH sits on the windows too long, which mine never does because I rinse them real quick, uh, that vinegar there will take away uh, that those cloudy streaks. Um, in that bottle there, I've got oxalic acid uh, that's mixed up that's left over from another job. Um, here, of course, we have our Enviro Bio Cleaner. I highly suggest you guys using this. This is really, really an important and highly effective uh, degreaser and soap. Um, it is very much worth the purchase. So, uh, and, um, and then we've got some EBC in here as well. In here, we have a color masking scent uh, that we use uh, also as a uh, sanit sanitization product. Um, and then here we have a, uh, this is just uh, blue coral car wash stuff. It's a Canuba type wax, dust off the trailer, dust off the car. Uh, you know, it's just a, a good automotive uh, soap uh, to use, not for selling, just for uh, own purposes. So inside of here, we're gonna have a drill. So we got an old drill. Uh, it's uh, it's um, uh, kind of like a Milwaukee's best drill. Um, I'll let you, I'll let you take a look at that. Uh, the drill is no big deal. Everybody knows what a drill is. We got a lot of drill bits in there. Uh, I picked this uh, drill up at Harbor Freight. Um, and, uh, and, and I w want you to see something really quickly. Uh, so sorry for the camera work here. Uh, but this is a, uh, an attachment, um, that goes onto the end of the drill and this will remove rust. Um, a lot, a lot of you guys have wire brushes to remove rust off your uh, trailer, your machine, so on and so forth. This attaches to the drill and allows me to work uh, work uh, much more efficiently. And uh, it's just a standard standard drill, as you can see. Um, you know, battery operated. Uh, you know, 12 volt drill. There you go. So have yourself a drill on board. You never know uh, what you're going to be changing, so on and so forth. We'll set that down there for intended purposes but if we look inside here we've got some shop towels lots of different rags um, and if you scoot these things over you're going to find uh, different types of paints and all types of oils um, uh, graffiti removal products goof off um, all different types of things that you're going to need uh, in the field so um, and i'm not just going to pull everything apart uh, but i want to show you inside of here we have our filters um, these are our filters that come with the X-Jet. This filter will go on the end of your siphon hose and into either your closed uh, five gallon pail or into either one of your drums. Uh, and then I suggest strapping this hose, strapping this hose through these straps and into here, all right? And then when you're finished, make sure you hang your hose up. Uh, if you don't have a shutoff valve, that's a shutoff valve right there. You see that gray thing right there? That's on and off. So if you have one of those, you don't need to worry. But that's only a 15 foot hose and that doesn't get you very far. Uh, so I'm gonna show you some other things that I keep in here. Of course, we have Teflon tape to wrap all your fittings with. We have multiple different fittings for uh, the machine. Uh, inlet valves, uh, quick connects, female, male. Uh, it's really important. This goes on the end of a lance. It's really important to have multiple fittings. These are tips for the surface cleaner. So let's say I get a clog in the field. Well, I've got a, I've got spare tips. Um, this goes on to the end of a hose, high pressure hose. Uh, this goes on the end of either the surface cleaner or a lance or a wand. So the multiple fittings are very, very important to have. Um, in addition to, have yourself some seals, guys. It's really important to have seals. Um, Earplugs, really important. Um, have some, some sunblock type products, things like that. And uh, we'll go into a grease gun. Make sure you have a grease gun for your surface cleaner. Keep that surface cleaner greased. And um, lots of paper towels, things to wipe up with. I keep this stuff here, guys. I wanna show you really quickly um, something that I, I highly uh, believe in and recommend, um, which is this stuff here, which is tub of towels. Uh, that stuff, these are great wipes. 
really, really highly recommend those uh, for cleanup. Um, and uh, this here is LA Awesome. Um, this stuff is is amazing. You can find so many uses for this. And if you want to know, ask me, I'll tell you. Um, and I don't know what you guys with your open trailers do, but inside of a closed trailer, you got something to pee in. <laughs> Sorry, didn't want to bring that up, but there's been a big, big debate on what's better, a box truck, open trailer. You know, when we're out in the field, guys, if you're out here doing this, you know that if you're out there six, eight hours, after a while, if you drink coffee, you've got to go potty. you got to go pee. And uh, I got to tell you, having a, an enclosed trailer, you can step on in here, your privacy, you can have a, you know, go pee. And uh, you're not out there peeing in someone's woods or behind their air conditioner or making unnecessary trips out to do, you know, go use the restroom. Um, so anyway, let's get back on topic. Inside of here, guys, you're going to find uh, multiple uh, things. Um, like for instance, this is the best ball valve known in my opinion. This is the DN10. This high pressure ball valve is a beast. I love it. It's a workhorse. And we've got multiple ball valves. This is a knockoff of the DN10, okay? Um, I don't like it, all right? Uh, this is an X-Jet. There's your X-Jet. And we've got uh, another high pressure ball. These carbon-based ball valves, guys, uh, they get uh, caught. This thing gets caught on your shirt and your hand and moves around. It's less expensive, but not as effective. Here is an X-Jet right here. There's an X-Jet. Beautiful. Love it. I am an X-Jet man. This is a four gallon a minute turbo tip. Um, then we have the different types of lances. I told you about the straight lance. We've got the curved lance. Uh, these are great gloves. Let me show you these gloves with the nubules on them. These are nitrile gloves. Everybody needs to have nitrile gloves. We've got foot powder. We've got uh, different types of sun care, skin care products. So you're not out there frying yourself. Um, foot powder, scotch Bright pads, got some deodorant. Uh, so if you look up here, um, these are where I hang my hat, but these fit over your hat and it's called a sun mullet. And that will keep the sun off the back of your head. So I hope this has been thorough and detailed. Um, I do wanna show you inside of your toolbox, you're gonna need, absolutely 100% need a couple of these things. You're absolutely going to need a pair of channel locks, a crescent wrench, um, some wire brushes. Absolutely going to need those things. Get some glue on board. Um, get some really nice tape on board. Uh, get a file on board. Uh, there's a lot of things that you're gonna need um, eventually. And you'll know when, because if you don't have them, you're not going to be able to fix it. And if you can't fix it, you're going to be spending money paying someone else to fix it. Um, in this box down here, I keep tarps. I keep hoses. I keep a saw. I keep a lot of things that I may need in the field to help me. There is a gutter cleaning tool. Um, uh, I want to show you something that I do. This is a torch. So I've got a propane tank inside there with a torch uh, to burn off uh, oil stains on certain types of surfaces. This is not an easy profession. There's a lot to learn. Get certified. Become a member of the United Association of Mobile Cleaning Contractors. Do everything in your power to learn, learn, and learn. Experiment on friends and family's homes before you go out there and do damage to homeowners' properties. Make sure you're fully licensed and insured. Make sure you're abiding by all your environmental protection agencies, rules and regulations, especially when you branch out commercially. Protect our environment, protect the wildlife, protect the storm drains, your runoff water. There's a lot to learn here, guys. Um, I hope everyone's doing great. Keep cleaning everyone. My name is Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results.
Have a great day. And thank you so much for joining me and seeing some of the things that you'll need. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go into great depths with a lot of the equipment because it's packed away. But as you can see, there's a good amount of products that you're going to need to invest in in an effort to get the job done effectively, efficiently, and with explosive results. If you have any questions, 386-453-4213, or uh, you can ask questions on YouTube and I'll answer them just as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone.